Hello, I'm Rebecca the Maths Lady and welcome to this special video which is all about rotational symmetry. Now it's a special video because it doesn't quite fit in the English Primary Maths curriculum which is my reference because it's not there. But it is the most wonderful primary maths topic to do with a cross age group. And in the video on symmetry, someone asked me to do a video on rotational symmetry, so here it is. So it is perfect for one of those lessons, maybe when some children are out or you might have a mixed year group and you want to do something really worthwhile, really interesting, really engaging that will develop math skills and consolidate other bits of maths and be a beautiful cross-curricular topic. So the first thing is that you are going to need a little bit of equipment for this lesson. You will need mirrors of some kind, or at least one mirror that children can go up to and fold their paper and put it against the mirror to see what's going on. Classroom mirrors are perfect, of course. And although in theory you need tracing paper, in practice you can get away with baking parchment if you haven't got any tracing paper, because we're not using it formally as tracing paper. We don't need to turn it over and rub out the picture. We just need to use it to help us locate images. So there's some standard classroom tracing paper, but if necessary, just use some of this from your kitchen. And then all you'll really need is some standard classroom equipment like scissors and colors. And I've created some worksheets that I'm going to reference and you can find them if you go to the about section of this YouTube channel and go to the link for free worksheet downloads or in the file section of the Facebook group which is expert primary maths teaching. And then the final thing before you get started is if you've got an early years section go and have a look and see if you've got any shapes jigsaws like these they're usually a bit more formal this is a home one from my children or any posting boxes and this is mine from when i was small and it's one of the best they're wonderful to have as part of this lesson right let's get started so the worksheet's got three pages and this is the first one i've just copied some images that are going to be interesting to talk about as we try to begin to understand what rotational symmetry is so i would ask a child has this shape got any symmetry has it got any lines of symmetry? And we can try that with the mirror. And it takes detailed attention to see that it's not quite right. There actually isn't a place where there's a mirror line. So there are no lines of symmetry, but there's a kind of sameness about this shape. It fits onto itself as we turn it round. And if you feel it's the right thing to do, you can trace this and turn it around, stab it with a pin, see how it fits onto itself. We're certainly gonna do that with these two shapes later on. Here's another one. Does it do the same thing? And we've almost got to spot the difference looking at the detail. Does it exactly fit onto itself as we spin it? We could explore what these symbols are. You can find them on the Wikipedia page on rotational symmetry, which is where I got these from. We can start to talk about the order of rotational symmetry, which is how many times it fits onto itself as we spin it around its centre of rotation. If you're on the English primary curriculum, children don't need to know any of this yet, but it's lovely for them to experience you using the vocabulary confidently and correctly. So this shape is a parallelogram. Has it got any lines of mirror symmetry? Well, if you play around with your mirror, you'll find it hasn't. But if we trace it, stab it, and rotate the tracing paper or the baking parchment, we'll find that it has. What about this octagon? Well, it has lines of mirror symmetry and it also has rotational symmetry, and you can explore that. How many lines of symmetry? What's the order of the rotational symmetry? Trace it and try it. If you've got time to make some cutout shapes, that's wonderful because children can fold them to test their ideas about mirror symmetry. If you haven't got many mirrors, that's a great way of making this topic more accessible. And of course, you can let children draw whatever shapes they want and explore them for mirror symmetry and rotational symmetry. Can they find shapes with rotational symmetry? Can they find pictures, signs or create images with rotational symmetry? Now, if you've managed to find a jigsaw like this, it's wonderful because we can really explore in such an enjoyable way the number of ways in which each peg will fit. How many ways will the circle fit? The star has order of rotational symmetry of five. The triangle has three. 
the square has four. What about the circle? What kind of discussion is that going to generate? Hopefully a discussion that will introduce the idea of infinity. And you can do similar work with a posting toy if you've got one. What's the order of rotational symmetry of a trapezium? How many ways will it fit in the hole? Now, because it has a line of symmetry, many children will think that there's more than one way, but by actually playing with it, they'll become convinced that there is only one. Don't worry if you haven't got those resources, you can still have a fabulous lesson, but if you can find some, they're just so wonderful to dig out and use at this stage. The second page of the worksheet set looks like this. It's just two grids of 10 by 10 squares with some lines of symmetry or a point of rotational symmetry. And we want to get children to design their own picture in one quadrant and then use mirrors to reflect it in all directions and use baking parchment or tracing paper to spin it around the centre and redraw it. And here's what I got when I tried that challenge of my little house. The third worksheet is about making patterns with circles. Now, if you've got older children, they can use pairs of compasses to draw their own circles. If you can make these on coloured paper, that's wonderful. And what we're essentially going to do is work with two circles and we'll try and create a shape with order of rotational symmetry four to start with. So if we fold this, this is going to be our pattern, our front pattern on the back base circle. If we used our scissors now to cut a pattern into this, when we opened it up, we'd get a pattern with mirror symmetry. But if instead we cut this into four, like this, we put all four pieces together and we cut a pattern that isn't symmetrical ideally, so maybe something like this, and then we fold this just simply in the middle to find the center point. And we stick our parts in here like this. One, two, three, four. We get a beautiful pattern. And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> now, if you're working with top end primary school students, you can talk about doing this with more than four sections. If we were cutting this into 10 sections, how many degrees would there be at the centre of each sector? Well, 360 divided by 10 is 36 degrees. So we could draw the 10 sections. We could maybe make one section out of card, turn it into a template, draw around it 10 times. There's lots of great thinking in here on fractions of 360 degrees and linking them to this wonderful geometry. Once you get children started, they're likely to become creative in their own ways. Some children have mandala drawing sets that help them to draw images with rotational symmetry. This really should be a topic that you can let run all day. Just wonderful for a rainy, dull, chaotic day to get children doing some wonderful maths, consolidating their understanding of mirror symmetry and lots of other areas of maths like shape and angles in a circle laying great foundations for their understanding of rotational symmetry when they suddenly hit it very quickly in the future, developing their fine motor skills and their control and use of scissors and of art and design. Just a wonderful, wonderful topic to teach at primary schools. I hope you enjoy it. If you've time to subscribe to my channel or recommend it to your colleagues or to parents, that would be fabulous. Take care. Bye for now.